Explain how Azure Storages object replication can be utilized for data distribution and compliance across multiple regions. Object replication in Azure Storage enables you to asynchronously replicate data between source and destination storage accounts in different regions. This feature is useful for maintaining data copies for compliance, regional access, or data sovereignty requirements. How can you manage access to Azure Blob Storage using Stored Access Policies and Shared Access Signatures, SAS? Stored Access Policies allow you to define a set of permissions and constraints for Shared Access Signatures, SAS. By using Stored Access Policies, you can easily manage and revoke access to resources without changing the SAS token. What is the purpose of the request charge, header in the response from Azure Storage Services? The request charge, header indicates the number of request units consumed for a given operation. It helps you monitor and optimize the usage of Azure Storage Services by understanding the resource consumption of your operations. Explain how Azure Blob Storage's Block Blob type allows you to upload large files efficiently. Block blobs in Azure Blob Storage enable large files to be uploaded in smaller chunks called blocks. This allows you to upload blocks in parallel and reassemble them to create the complete blob, improving upload efficiency. How can you enable secure and private access to Azure Storage resources over a virtual network using private endpoints? Private endpoints allow you to access Azure Storage resources privately over a virtual network. By using private endpoints, you ensure that traffic between your virtual network and storage resources remains within the Microsoft network and doesn't traverse the public internet. Explain how to implement automated data archiving from Azure Blob Storage's Hot Access Tier to the Cool or Archive Tiers. You can use Azure Blob Storage's Lifecycle Management Policies to automatically transition data from the Hot Access Tier to the Cool or Archive Tiers based on defined rules. This ensures cost-effective data archiving while maintaining data availability. How can you ensure data integrity and protection in Azure Storage using the Data Lake Storage Gen 2 service? Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 offers features like data encryption at rest, role-based access control, RBC, PASIC-style permissions, and audit logs. These features ensure data integrity, protection, and compliance with data governance standards. What is the role of Azure Storage Services in supporting serverless computing with Azure Functions? Azure Storage Services provide data storage capabilities for Azure Functions. Functions can use Azure Blob Storage, Azure Table Storage, and Azure Queue Storage as triggers, outputs, or data sources, enabling serverless applications to process and store data efficiently. How can you enable secure data transfer between Azure Blob Storage and on-premises environments using Azure Private Link? Azure Private Link enables secure and private communication between Azure Blob Storage and on-premises environments by allowing you to access the storage resources over a private connection instead of the public internet. How does Azure Storage handle data consistency in case of conflicting write operations on the same blob? Azure Storage uses the tag Entity Tag to manage data consistency. If conflicting write operations occur, the tag ensures that only the most recent write is accepted, preventing data inconsistencies. How can you enable data access and sharing between virtual machines using Azure File Storage's FileShare service? Azure File Storage's FileShare service allows you to create fully managed file shares that can be accessed by multiple virtual machines. By mapping the file share as a network drive, VMs can access and share files stored in Azure File Storage. Explain how Azure Blob Storage's versioning feature helps in maintaining historical versions of blobs. Azure Blob Storage's versioning feature automatically maintains previous versions of a blob whenever the blob is modified or overwritten. This enables you to track changes over time and recover previous states if needed. How can you implement cross-region replication for Azure Blob Storage to meet disaster recovery requirements? You can use Read Access Geo-Redundant Storage, RAGRS, for cross-region replication in Azure Blob Storage. This replicates data to a secondary region, allowing you to access the replicated data in the secondary region for disaster recovery purposes. 194. What is the significance of the Access Tier in Azure Blob Storage's Lifecycle Management Policies? The Access Tier in Azure Blob Storage's Lifecycle Management Policies determines which data should be transitioned to a different Access Tier based on access patterns and retention rules. 
This helps optimize costs while ensuring data availability. 195. How can you secure data transfers between Azure storage services and on-premises environments using Azure VPN Gateway? Azure VPN Gateway allows you to establish secure, encrypted connections between your on-premises network and Azure services, including Azure Storage. This ensures data transfers are protected over the network.